Hello everyone, welcome back to Nomo Studio. So in this video, ay sasagutan po natin ang 5 item questions na ito at ipapakita rin po natin kung paano nga ba sagutan in less than 30 seconds ang bawat items. So without any further ado, simula na po natin. A shirt originally costs $50. If it is on sale for 20% off, what is the new price? Is it $10, $40, $30, or $20? Feel free to pause the video if you'd like to answer. First and foremost, we need to understand the problem. Kasi kapag naintindihan na natin yung problem, masasagutan na natin ng tama. Now, ang sabi dito, ang shirt ay nagkakahalaga ng $50. Ngayon, if ito po ay nakasale, which means may discount na 20%, ano yung discounted price na or yung new price? Ang gagawin lang po natin dito is i-multiply muna natin itong 20% sa original price na $50. And after that, yung result, isa-subtract din po natin dito kasi nga discount ito eh. So ito yung ibabawas natin sa original price. Magkakaroon po tayo dito ng dalawang solutions. Yung first solution natin is yung usual way lang of solving percentage. And the second solution, yung trick natin on how to get the 10%, 20%, 30%, and so on of any number. So, simulan po natin sa usual way of solving percentage. So, i-convert muna natin ito sa decimal form niya. So, ang decimal form ni 20% is just 0.20 or 0.2. Ngayon, baka may magtatanong kung bakit naging 0.20 or 0.2 ito. Again, 20%, ibig sabihin po niyan, 20%-tum, or 20 per 100. Now, if we divide 20 by 100, this will be the result. Either 0.20 or 0.2. Same lang po yan. Kasi yung 0 dito is just the placeholder. So ngayon, pwede na po nating i-multiply ito dito sa ating $50. So we have 50 times 0 0.2. So this is 0. 5 times 2, that is 10. 0 times 0, that is 0. 0 times 5, that is 0. So bring down 0, 0, 1. And as what we can see dito sa ating decimal, isang number lang ang nakikita natin after the decimal point. At nangangahulugan po yan na kinakailangang isang number lang din ang makikita natin after the decimal point dito sa ating sagot. So, ibig sabihin pala nito, the decimal point must be placed here kasi nga kinakailangang isang number lang ang makikita after the decimal point kasi dito sa ating decimal, isang number lang din ang nakikita after the decimal point. Yan po ang inyong tandaan. At kapag dalawang numbers na po ang nakikita ninyo dito after the decimal point, dapat sasagot din dalawang numbers na after the decimal point. And so on. At ang ibig sabihin po pala nito, ito yung 20% ni $50. At ito rin po yung isa-subtract natin dito sa ating original price. Kasi nga, ito yung discount. So we have $50 minus $10 and that is equal to $40. So ito na yung ating new price or yung discounted price. So the answer is letter B. At ngayon, dito naman po tayo sa ating solution number 2, in which ito yung trick natin on how to easily get the 20% of any number. Ganito, kunin muna natin ang 10% of this number. So to get the 10% of any number, just move the decimal point from right to left ng isang movement. So we have 1. So 5.0 or simply 5. Therefore, ang 10% pala ni 50 is just 5. Ngayon, since alam na pala natin na ang 10% ni 50 is simply 5, so kung ito yung 10%, ang kinakailangan kasi natin 20%. So we need another 10%. So 5 plus 5, that is equal to 10. So 10 is just the 20% of this number. And again, ito rin po yung isa-subtract natin sa ating original price na 50. And that gives us 40, which is letter B. 
So, next, number two. A class has 25 students and 60% of them are girls. How many girls are there in the class? Is it 10, 15, 20, or 25? So, diretsyo na po tayo sa ating trick on how to easily get the answer in less than 30 seconds. So, para malaman po natin kung ilan nga ba ang number of girls, we need to multiply this 60% dito sa 25. So, para mas madali tayo, kunin muna natin ang 10% ni 25. And, as we all know, to get the 10% of any number, just move the decimal point from right to left ng isang movement. So, we have 1, so, 2.5 is just the 10% of 25. Ngayon, since alam na po natin na ang 10% lang pala ni 25 is just 2.5, since ang kinakailangan po natin 60%, ibig sabihin, kailangan natin ng anim na tig 10%. Ngayon, meron na po tayong isang 2.5 or ito yung 10% ni 25. So, we need another 5 more. So, 2.5... 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, and 2.5. Dalawang 2.5, that is 5. So this is 5 again, and this is 5. So tatlong 5, that is 15. So ang 60% lang pala ni 25 is simply 15. Since 15 is just the 60% of 25, ibig sabihin po nito there are 15 girls in the class. And the answer is letter... B. Next, question number 3. A bag contains 50 marbles, 30% of which are red. How many marbles are not red? Is it 15, 20, 35, or 50? So, intindihin lang po ang tanong. Sabi dito, sa isang bag meron daw 50 marbles, at ang 30% of that marbles are color red. Pero ang tinatanong sa atin, Kung ilan nga ba ang mga marbles na hindi red? And again, kunin muna natin ang 10% ni 50. So, as we all know, the 10% of 50 is just simply 5. Since kinakailangan natin ang 30%, so tatlong tig 10%. So, tatlong 5. So, 5 plus 5 plus 5 and that is equal to 15. So, 15 is just the 30% of 50. Again, sabi sa tanong, there are 30% of that marbles na kulay red. Pero ang tinatanong, ilan daw yung hindi red? Ibig sabihin, 50 minus 15 and that is equal to 35. So, 35 marbles that are not color red. So, the answer is letter C. Next, question number 4. Wenas allowance is 3,500 Philippine Peso per month. This is 5% of her father's salary. How much is her father's salary? Understand the question. Sabi dito, ang 3,500 na allowance per month ni Wena ay 5% lamang ng salary or sahod ng kanyang ama. Ang tanong, magkano kaya ang sahod ng ama ni Wena? At nangangahulugan lamang po ito na itong allowance pala ni Wena ay parte lamang ito ng kabuoang sahod ng kanyang ama. And as we all know from our previous videos, that we have the formula, percentage is equal to base times rate. Or it can also be part is equal to whole times percent. So, ibig sabihin pala nito, itong percentage, ito yung part or parte lamang ng kabuuan or yung totality. Kumbaga, pag sinabi nating totality, ito yung whole or base. So, para mas madali po nating maintindihan, let's say meron tayong isang kabuuang papel or one whole sheet of paper. So, di ba meron din po tayong tinatawag na one-fourth sheet of paper? So, kumbaga, itong one-fourth, ito ay parte lamang ng isang kabuoang papel or ito ay part of whole. So, kung babalik tayo dito sa ating problem, itong 3,500 na allowance pala ni Wena ay parte lamang ito ng kabuoang sahod ng kanyang ama. 
And to solve this problem, we will use this formula. Percentage is equal to base times rate. Di ba ito yung part or parte ng kabuuan? At itong base, ito naman yung whole or totality. At itong rate, ito yung percent which is given dito sa ating problem as 5%. So, ibig sabihin lamang nito, ito yung percentage natin. Kasi nga, ito yung part or parte lamang ng kabuoang sahod ng amaniwena. So, isubstitute lang po natin yung mga given sa ating formula. So, we have 3,500, which is equal to B times 5%. And to solve for the value of B, we need to divide 5% to both sides. So, divided by 5%, divided by 5%. So, 5% divided by 5%, and that is already 1. So, B na lang. Now, we have B is equal to 3,500 divided by 5%. Ang teknik lang po dito is ganito. Itong denominator natin na 5%, lagyan lang po yan ng over 100 at tanggalin na po yung percent na sign. Kasi itong 5%, ibig sabihin lamang po niyan 5 percentum or 5 per 100 or 5 divided by 100. Ngayon, meron na po tayong whole number divided by a fraction. Ang gagawin lang po is to copy this numerator at instead na division, magiging multiplication na. Pagkatapos, kunin lamang ang reciprocal ng fraction na ito. When we say reciprocal, pagbalik ta rin ng pwesto ang dalawang numbers na ito or i-flip lang natin. So now we have B is equal to 3,500 times 100 divided by 5. Again, Kinapi lang po natin yung numerator, tapos minultiply na natin sa reciprocal ng fraction na ito. And as what we can see, pwede na po nating isimplify ito para hindi na humaba ang ating solution. 100 divided by 5 and that is equal to 20. So now we have B is equal to 3,500 times 20. And to make it easier, pwede pa po natin isimplify si 20. Pwede natin gawin 10 times 2. So, 3,500 times 10, and that is equal to 35,000. Times 2, and that is equal to 70,000. Therefore, Wena's father's salary is 70,000 Philippine Peso. And now, let's have our last problem. 15% of 50% of 320. What do you think will be the answer for this? So first, let's convert this percent to its decimal form. 15% is the same as 0.15. 50% is the same as 0.50 or 0.5. So now we have 0.15 times 0.5 times 320. At baka may magtatanong dyan kung bakit po natin minultiply yung tatlong numbers na ito. Again, kapag nakakita tayo ng of, that means multiplication. So, let's simplify para mas madali po nating masagutan. And as we all know, 0.5 is the same as 1 half. So, 1 half of this number is 160. So now, meron na lang tayong 0.15 times 160. So, let's multiply. 160 times 0.15. 0 times 5, that is 0. 6 times 5, that is 30. Carry 3. 1 times 5, that is 5 plus 3. And that is 8. 0 times 1, and that is 0. 6 times 1, and that is 6. 1 times 1, and that is 1. So bring down 0, 0, 14, carry 1, 2. And as what we can see, meron po tayong dalawang numbers after the decimal point. And it only means, kinakailangan dito sa ating sagot, 
meron din tayong dalawang numbers after the decimal point. So saan ba dapat natin ilalagay ang decimal point? Yes, tama. After sa 4. So ang sagot is 24. Ibig sabihin nito, it's letter C. And that's all for this video and I hope you've learned something new today at sana po may sense yung ating video sa inyong mga reviews. At kung bago ka pa lang po sa ating channel, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends. Hope to see you next time. Bye for now.